and welcome to the Silhouette Tissue Painting course. Today I'm going to be building off of Miss Courtney's fantastic video on tissue painting by showing you how to use the same techniques with a little twist to create a beautiful silhouette piece of art. If you haven't watched Miss Courtney's amazing craft video on tissue painting, pause this one right now and go and watch hers first. The link will be in the description. To complete the silhouette tissue art, I have a canvas. It's a little bit hard to see because I put it down on a triple thick layer of paper towels. If any of the tissue paper comes off the canvas, it can bleed out onto the table, so I want to make sure that my surface is fully protected before I start working. I also have a package of art tissue, also called bleeding tissue. I have my spray bottle of water ready to go to dampen my canvas. And then for the silhouette portion, I chose the silhouette of a lighthouse. I printed this one off the computer, or if you prefer, you can freehand draw your silhouette onto the canvas once your background's in place. With any craft project, one of the most fun parts of the entire experience is getting to pick out the colors you want to use. I'm going to create a sort of sunset style lighthouse scene. So I picked out some red, yellow, orange for the sky. And then for the water, I have a couple shades of blue, a nice deep purple to give it some real color and shadow, and just a little bit of green that I'm going to add is just a hint of the land for the lighthouse itself. Now, I don't have a very huge canvas here, so I'm just going to cut off a couple of strips from the edge of the tissue sheet itself. Now for colors that I don't want a lot of, like the purple and the green, I'm just going to cut one strip of each. Then I'm going to do a couple strips on colors I'm going to want a little bit more of, like the blue for the water. And now that I have my strips cut out, I'm just going to put the rest of the pages off to the side in case I decide I want to cut more of any color. Then I'm just going to take a couple of them, in this case the orange, yellow, and red. I'm just going to stack them together and then go ahead and cut each strip down into smaller squares. The size of your squares doesn't really matter, as this is just to allow you to space out your colors along the canvas. So if you want larger squares, you'll get bigger patches of a particular color, like red. If you make them smaller, your colors will tend to bleed more into each other. I'm just going to knock those off into a small pile. And then I'm going to repeat the process with the last of my strips. Now that I've cut down my tissue into smaller squares and rectangles, I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and take my spray bottle of water and just spray down the entire canvas, getting it nice and damp. I'm going to start by just taking some of the tissue and just letting it fall onto the canvas into the water. As you'd see, as soon as it hits the water, it just flattens out and starts soaking up. I'm going to just keep adding. So you can see here, as it's hitting the water, the blue is starting to bleed out around the paper itself. So I'm just going to keep adding more pieces. You can also add tissue on top of other pieces to get a layered effect. I'm just going to keep adding blue down here at the base of my canvas to simulate the water. And just keep building up. 
And when I'm about the halfway point, I'm just going to add a little bit of green, just a couple of pieces to simulate oops, the land that my lighthouse is going to be sitting on. And I'm going to put a little bit of blue over the top just so it isn't a straight line where the water ends, where the water is and the land begins. So this does form a more abstract background. It's not an exact science. So don't worry about placing anything at an exact particular point. There's no right or wrong. And now that I'm about halfway up, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting in some of the pieces for the sky. To create kind of a sunset look, I'm just going to do some orange and red and yellow, just kind of in a bit of a random pattern. This, like I said, this absolutely there's no exact measurements, no certain way this is supposed to end up looking. just about layering in the colors and making sure you feel comfortable with them. I'm going to add a little bit of purple and just a smidge of red at the top. Just getting in every little bit so there's no white space. And now that I've placed my tissue, I'm just going to spray down the canvas one more time to make sure that every little bit gets damp and it just helps to spread the dye and help the color bleed out onto the canvas. Now it takes about an hour now for the canvas to fully dry. And as you can see, I did get a little bit of the dye on my fingertips from placing the tissue. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of a break to allow my canvas time to dry and to wash my hands. Now my tissue is still just a little bit damp, but it's mostly dry. And you can see like up here in the corner where it's starting to curl up. So I'm just going to carefully oops, pull that off. And you can kind of see how the tissue has lost a lot of its color and left it behind on the canvas. So just grabbing at little bits. It doesn't really matter where you start. Usually at the end edges is easiest. And just going ahead and pulling all this tissue off to reveal underneath our beautiful background. Now that the tissue's off, you can see it's created a beautiful, kind of abstract, almost watercolor-esque background on my canvas. So I'm just going to take my lighthouse silhouette and position it just where I want it. So I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the canvas and using a pencil just very lightly go around the outside leaving just the lightest little mark so I can go over it later. Just going to trace around the entire outside of my lighthouse. And then when I remove the silhouette you can see the outline here. You can use any color for your silhouette. I'm going to use a traditional black for my Silhouette, but if you prefer, you can use any color. It is entirely up to you. There's no right or wrong answers in art. I would take some black acrylic paint and my paintbrush. I'm just going to, using a very fine brush, just dip it lightly in the paint and just go ahead and go over the outline I traced. So as I go around the outside, 
So I'm just covering up the pencil mark. Now that I've gone over the outline of my lighthouse, I'm just going to take a little bit more black paint and just go ahead and lightly fill in. I've got the lighthouse almost completely filled in. I'm just going to get a little bit of paint into the last top corners up here. So now that I have my lighthouse on the canvas, I'm just going to add a little bit of detail. I'm just going to get a little bit of paint on the tip of my brush and just do a couple of lines just radiating out to show where the light's coming from inside the lighthouse. And then with the tip of my brush, I'm just going to put a couple little birds up here by just going ahead and making a little kind of W shape with the tip of my brush. Just going to get in a couple more. So now that we've added a little bit of detail to the top, I'm going to add just a little bit along the bottom here, just a couple of oops, little light swishes with my brush, nothing fancy, just making little kind of squiggle lines to give the impression of waves and motion of the water. And there you go. You've got a beautiful lighthouse silhouette, although I was initially thinking about creating a more sunset picture with the light colors. This one almost looks more like a sunrise. Uh, once the black paint dries, I can go ahead and hang it up on my wall and I've got a beautiful piece of art. This is a great project as it's a lot of fun to create different backgrounds using the bleeding tissue. Depending on the silhouette you want to use, you can make it as intricate or simple as possible. I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning how to make silhouette tissue art, and I hope you'll share your own unique creations with us in the comment section of this video. Don't forget to check out Miss Courtney's tissue painting video and all the other amazing craft videos put together by the library available on our Facebook and YouTube channel. Don't forget to stay tuned to the library's website and social media for more information about our upcoming programs. We've got some great things planned, and I can't wait to see everybody at the next event. Bye!